Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be, or I am going to be showing you how I store my accessories and just little tips and tricks I recommend you maybe incorporate into your accessories so that you get more use out of them and can enjoy them more often. If you guys like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that little red subscribe button down below. I post vlogs, fashion, and beauty content twice a week and would love to have you join this community. Now you guys are gonna have to bear with the echo here. I'm standing in my hallway, which is actually where I keep a lot of my accessories. So this is gonna be a little bit more vlog style, um, just because my accessories aren't in the most well-lit uh, area and it's not very conducive just for me speaking to a camera so I apologize if there's a little bit of an echo uh, but the reason I wanted to show this to you is because when I go to clients homes and help them go through their closet a lot of the time when I ask women for their accessories they pull out this box or section in their closet they kind of pull out and bring to me and all of their jewelry is sort of dumped inside on top of it and they always tell me that they never use it or that they don't know how to wear it and that they just forget that it's there. And a lot of the reason is because you can't find your accessories or you can't see them. So my big thing is that if it's out of sight, it'll be out of mind. So you'll see based on my uh, accessory closet that everything is on display and it's there just so that I can visually see what's there and I can see what catches my eye for inspiration in the morning when I get dressed. So having said that, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit vlog style, but Let's get going into the accessory closet, which is this here. This is actually just a linen closet or was a linen closet in our place. And because it's just Sean and I in our home, I don't really need it for a, like a ridiculous amount of linen. So we put all of our stuff in a different um, closet in our place. So I've used this as my accessory area instead. Okay, so when you open the accessory doors, or the closet doors, I should say, there are three tiers to all of my accessories. We've got the middle row here. There is one just above. And then there's also one just below. So let's walk through all of these here. Okay, the first section is the middle row here, and this is probably the one that I grab for most often, just because out of all the accessories, I am definitely a necklace person, as you can see. These are all of my statement accessories. I'm someone that loves costume jewelry. I don't need uh, fine jewelry, although I do have it. My preference just tends to be more costume just because I love all the bright colors. I love the personality they provide and I like that they can be a little bit more uh, dramatic and they're just fun, right? You kind of experiment with your style based on that. So what I have done for all of these or initially how I started my collection was I was grabbing these sort of, I don't even know what these are called. Um, just holders, I guess, neck holders for necklaces. These two here are from Stella and Dot. I had bought them from Stella and Dot like years and years back. I don't know if Stella and Dot sells them anymore, so I apologize. But I really liked how they displayed some of my larger and heavier jewelry. This here is a reworked vintage piece that I got from Shrimp to Couture. I've had it for almost, gosh, 10 years now, I think. And I love it. It was one of my first like investment statement pieces I ever bought. I was obsessed. I love this piece. Uh, and then this one is from a boutique in Toronto called Frida's that I love. Um, I can't remember the artist's name that had made this, but this is all stone. So it is very quite, it is heavy. And it's just got a magnetic clasp that kind of holds it together. And then uh, I got some more versions of these, but in black from Michaels. So I have quite a few of them and it, this closet kind of wraps around behind the door. So I've got three black ones here. Uh, I've got a, a necklace here from Aldo. This one is from Ann Taylor. This is a designer called Jenny Bird. I love her stuff. If any of you have never looked at her pieces before, I highly recommend going to check her out. She is amazing. And then going from the middle to the right, 
I have three other necklaces. So these are all by Trisha McMaster. You guys know I'm obsessed with her stuff. You're going to see a lot of her stuff going through my uh, accessories here. But I love them and I wanted them to be displayed really beautifully only because a lot of her stuff like most artists come in a box. And again, if your accessories are out of sight, they will be out of mind. So while not everybody obviously needs to you know, take their linen closet and turn it into an accessory one. Even just putting a shelf somewhere in your closet is great, or you could even get a cork board and put thumbtacks in it and hang your necklaces off there as well. Like anything that will help you see your accessories is the way to go. Now, because these are big and bulky and obviously take up quite a lot of room, I didn't have the space on the shelves to do this for all of my necklaces. So what I ended up resorting to were these small hooks that are adhesives on the wall. These are tabs to pull them off. And I've just sort of spaced them out just above the necklaces and hung my remaining statement jewelry pieces above there, as you can see. And again, it kind of wraps onto the inside of the closet. Two other pieces that I've got. But again, it allows me to see everything that I have, which is the whole point. So it may not be the prettiest thing in the world, but again, it just d does its purpose and helps me see what it is that I have available. And I can draw inspiration from that based on what I see. So if there's colors I want to pull into my outfit, or if there's, you know, just a certain vibe I'm going for, I can quickly reference my necklaces if I'm feeling the necklace that day and can easily throw these on. This one here is from H&M. This uh, necklace here is from Trisha McMaster. This necklace here is from J. Crew. I love their stuff only because J. Crew ends up incorporating so much color and variety into their necklaces. So I love, love, love that about them. This necklace here is from Trisha McMaster, this blue one. And this one here is another from J. Crew that I love. I think this was called their Jelly Bean Necklace. And I, it was sold out in stores when I went to go and find it and then ended up sourcing it on eBay. So little tip if any of you like J. Crew's stuff, I often find eBay has a like a lot of sellers on eBay will have their stuff, whether it's a replica or whatever, but the price point is fantastic. <laughs> and then this one in the middle is another Trisha McMaster, of course, because I'm obsessed with her stuff. And look at the iridescent like coloring of these crystals. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I love it. This necklace here is one from J. Crew as well, as is, oh no, no, sorry. This one is from Le Chateau as are these two at the back, which are the same. They're both just different colors. So this one has a little bit more of the purple and pink. And then this one is really cute because it's got some coral and orange coloring in with the bling. I just love it. Now, stepping up above, we have the next row up here. And up top, you'll see these two gigantic white frames. These are also from Stella and Dot, um, but they're made to carry necklaces. So you'll see that each of these has like the little hooks up top to carry jewelry on it. It's usually for one of like their display shows when like one of the sellers, I guess, brings it to whatever those parties are that they do. Uh, anyway, I just loved the sort of white and sand coloring of it. I thought it was so beautiful. So on this one, I've got some of my silver jewelry. I've got my bling uh, necklace here. This was from an online store that no longer exists called Emerald Bling. I was really disappointed when they closed, but they're no longer available. This silver necklace here is from Dynamite Side. I've got the longer necklaces I've attached to this one, and they're almost a bit too long, so that's why they're kind of hanging off the side into the second section here. So the first, uh, actually the first three, so this one, this one, and this one, these are all Trisha McMaster from Green Bijou. Then the next one here was a collaboration that Emily Maynard did, so that was the old Bachelorette. She had done this with, is it Town & Country? That's the jewelry thing. I can't remember the brand anyway, but it was whatever jewelry collection collaboration she had done. This one here is also from Trisha McMaster. This here, this large pendant is from White House Black Market. This pendant here is from Banana Republic. I love that one because it's sort of like a brown a jewel tone pendant that's at the bottom of that gold. And then this incredibly long oversized like pearl necklace. It's like a layered pearl necklace that is from H&M from years ago, but um, I still love it. I'm not a big pearl gal. It's not like my vibe necessarily, but when I'm feeling it, I go big and bold. <laughs> now, in between these two frames here, I put another section of those hooks. So at the base here, I have a really cute necklace that is from, I 
think it was J. Crew. I might be mistaken. If not, then it's Le Chateau, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really can't remember. I apologize. Some of my stuff I've had for such a long time. Uh, and then this necklace up here, you guys may recommend or recognize, sorry, from Vlogmas. This was gifted to me from Trisha McMaster over Christmas time, who is the sweetest person on the planet. I love that piece. Like, look at that pendant in the middle. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. But I ran out of space for the hooks on the bottom here. So that is why I put two extra hooks up top. Now from the necklaces, if I am to move down a level, there is a little bit more going on in this section here. So this is where all of the smaller jewelry is, earrings, uh, loose small necklaces. I've got some brooches over here, rings, bracelets and watches. And I've got some sunglasses in the corner, so we'll go through this. Okay, so first of all, we have this little ring stand. Now, this is also from Michaels. All of these, like, black pieces, um, even this, like, watch bracelet stand, this is from Michaels as well. These are fairly inexpensive. I think at most they run for 8 to maybe $11, so they're not really that bad to put into your... Um, like jewelry storage collection in terms of holding your jewelry and I love this because again there was multiple ring holders and uh, like rather than using a dish to just dump all of your rings in I like that this helped display everything a little bit so the first row like these are all just very costumey um so I've got a Michael Kors like cocktail ring up here which I stink and love I've had this one for years uh this one was from an artist flea market in Toronto I actually don't know uh, the brand of this one, but like it's like a Mr. T style ring. Like, look how big that is. <laughs> I love it. Uh, these two um, are also by the same artist. I can't remember who they're by. Oh, sorry. These are by Kara Ross, both of, both of these. And again, they're quite oversized, as you can see. But again, I absolutely love them. This uh, ring here is by Swarsky. This was a gift for my birthday years ago. And this ring here, this like gold braided band along with this one and this little heart on the bottom is from HRH Collection. Alex makes some really, really beautiful stuff. I have quite a few of her pieces in my jewelry collection. I love it. So if you guys haven't checked her out, I will link her channel down below and her shop because honestly, some of her pieces are absolutely stunning. Okay, these rings here, these are all from Aldo. They're just different stacks of rings that you can wear together. So I just had them all thrown there. This ring is possibly one of my favorites. I bought this from a blogger who used to make jewelry called The Glamour Eye. She still blogs, but no longer makes jewelry, which just crushes my heart because I loved her stuff. Um, but this is such a beautiful ring. I loved how whimsical it was and all of her pieces were handmade. They were just Oh, they are still some of my favorites and I just loved all of the color and texture in this ring. It was absolutely beautiful. Okay, now this silver ring came from Le Chateau. This one is by House of Harlow. I just love, as like just random fact about me, I love old looking keys. So when I saw this as, whoops, I don't know why I'm going blurry here. So when I saw this as a key ring, I knew I had to get it. I just love the dainty rings around this, or sorry, the dainty crystals around this ring, and the stone is so beautiful. Um, I've got two little small rings here. One is from Forever 21. Randomly, I just didn't know where else to put it. This ring here was a gift from Pandora a couple years back when I had, uh, I think I saw them at Fashion Week and they were just gifting them. Uh, this ring here is the other one from Alex at HRH. This is part of one of her newer rings that she's released. I love that. The color is so beautiful. It's one of the AB crystals, I believe. And I've got another small ring up here. And then these rings and this one is also from Aldo. Sorry, these three here are from Aldo. Okay, now just above the ring set, if I go up, I have this like white bar stand that is again from Stella and Dot back in the day. And I use this for kind of a mishmash of things. So one, I've got some loose bracelets that I can't get on this uh, thing here. So I've got a gold bracelet I wear constantly and I've got a bracelet that's just by, I think it's Joseph Noguchi or Noguchi, I can't remember how to say the name. Um, very similar obviously to Pandora or the same kind of idea. Um, so that just kind of sits there. Then I've got two bracelets here. One is from Trisha McMaster, and I love this because this is a vintage watch bracelet, so it's very stretchy. So if you're not someone that likes your bangles sort of clanging around on a desk while you're typing during the day, this is, was perfect, and that's why I love it. This one is from Alex at HRH. Look at those colors. Like, her gold is so nice, and I love this nice, warm kind of 
pink tan color on her bracelet. It was absolutely gorgeous. Now behind these bracelets, I have a full row here of some of my dainty chains. So I have everything from like my cross. I've got a Tiffany key here. Sorry, they're kind of hard to film in there. I've got an old necklace that my parents had given me when I was born, like a Winnie the Pooh thing, which is really cute. Another dainty blue pendant, like just like really beautiful, small, uh, fine jewelry pieces. But again, they're on display so I can see them easily. I can access them when I need them, which is perfect. Now, on the opposite side, the left hand side of this little bar, I've got some more necklaces. These are all chokers. So the majority of these are from Alex at HRH. These are some of her choker chokers, sorry, that she has just because I love the crystals on them. I love the color and textures they come in. So actually, now that I'm looking at it, everything except this one, this little hanger necklace, which actually I'm going to put on the other side now. <laughs> All of that is from her. Okay, now moving on from that section, we now move on to this larger black bar here. So again, this piece was from Michaels and I use this to store anything regarding arm jewelry. So the top shelf here on the left, I've got a no name bangle. This was actually one that I'd wore during my wedding, so that's why I hold on to that one. This crystal one is from Le Chateau. These bracelets are from Aldo. This sort of studded bangle, I don't remember where I got it. It was at like some kind of art, um, art fashion show in Toronto years ago, and I've just, I love the studding and the gold of it, so I've held on to it. This one is from Aldo. I just love the black cross. And this one was a bracelet that I picked up from Saks off of 5th years ago. I just love the like 3D bangle and how fun and girly it is. I just love the colors of it too. It's so pretty. Then the next aisle or next shelf or whatever, uh, I've got some two larger bangles that I got from the one of a kind craft show. There is a watch here. It's a vintage Bulova that actually used to be my mom's before she passed away. So I've had that for years. And then I've got a couple of bracelets here that are all from Alex at HRH, but I just love these crystals. Like, look at them. Oh, so gorge. And then I have two bracelets here. I believe both of these are Trisha McMaster, if I'm not, oh no, no, I'm sorry. This one is Trisha McMaster, my apologies. This one is from Jenny Bird, who is an artist in Toronto. I have another HRH, um, actually I've got two little bangle chains here that I've attached to one another, just hold them on here. And then I've got some beaded bracelets that's from that Joseph Noguchi, I believe is how it's pronounced again, but I, I just love their sort of artsy, sort of bohemian vibe. And each of the stones has a special healing element to it, which I love. So that's why those are there. And then the next one down is my watches. So clearly I like them. <laughs> um, but I've got an old Michael Kors watch. This was probably like my very first ever designer anything that I had purchased myself. This is probably six or seven years old, but I love that it's oversized. It's very heavy and it kind of mimics a man's watch, which I love. Then I have this one from, what is it from? Oh, it's by Toy Watch. And the backstory to this, I do love this watch, but I bought this because this was the same watch Sandra Bullock wore in The Blind Side because it's like my most favorite movie or one of them. I've watched it a gazillion times, so I bought that because I love her character in that movie. Uh, this one is by Movado. I actually won this, which I never ever win anything, but I won it during a fashion show years ago. And I just love the contrasting colors, the white and the orange together are so pretty. And then I have two more Michael Kors watches. And I have two Daniel Wellington, and then one that I'm wearing right now that's just got, same as this one, it's just a brown band. And then in the corner, kind of behind all of the watches, you'll see that I've got a small section of sunglasses that are kind of hidden in there. I don't have a proper sunglass um, drawer, if you will, but I leave them in their cases because I, I know what each of them looks like and I don't want them to get scratched, so. I've got all the cases kind of hidden in the background there. Not overly like appealing or like aesthetically pleasing in terms of looking at it, but it does its purpose and I know what's what. And um, we have this uh, holder here, jewelry holder. This is from, all, uh, from Michaels as well. And again, it was somewhere in the price range of eight to $11, so not so crazy. But what I loved is that it held earrings beautifully because I'm not a massive earring person, but I have made quite a collection over the years and I hate, 
like rummaging through a box for earrings. So I thought this stand was perfect. And I've got some necklaces on there up top. So the very bottom, I've got... Oh god, these are like earrings from over the years. These were actually ones that I wore during my wedding, so that's why I've got them. They're not really my style anymore, but just for sentimental purposes, I've held on to them. These earrings were from BCBG, and then these ones were from Aldo that I picked up this past summer. I know you guys said that you liked them in a few of my videos. These ones were also from Aldo, a, like, again, I've had them for years and years and years. And then I've got two, uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick them up. Yeah, I've got two like studs um, on either side that are pinned. So I've got like some black ones here that are by Kate Spade, and this is from like a no-name boutique in Toronto. And then up top, we have some statement earrings because you guys know I love them. So the far left are from H&M, those sort of um, funky eye earrings. They are still in store now in case any of you are loving them as much as I am. Uh, these dangly silver ones were from Aldo. I just picked them up in the summertime, obsessed with them. Actually, all these are Aldo except the one. Uh, these ones were, oh my god, these were like a summer love of mine. Uh, these were from Aldo over the summertime. I just loved how fun these were. And then these ones I actually just picked up for New Year's Eve. Look how fun these are. They're really heavy, but I love them. They were so much fun. Next level up, we got some more earrings. Now, this one didn't have the actual, like, holes to put it through. So, anything that was, like, more of a hoop style or had something where I could slip it over the bar, that's how I would store the earrings there. So, Aldo, Zara, oh, God, I don't even remember. These are so old. And these were a gift, so I don't know where uh, these earrings came from. But they're all so beautiful. I love them. And then going up is another oldie, oldie, oldie pair. Again, I have no idea where these came from. It might have been Aldo years ago. I also have a pair of diamond studs that Sean got me ages back. Or not, sorry, not diamond studs, diamond hoops. And then some other earrings um, that from Claire's that I just haven't really used yet, so they're still on there. And then the very, very top, since it was so long, I thought would be great for some of my dainty, long necklaces. So I've got an old pendant from... Phantom of the Opera. I've got a pendant that has a picture of my mom and I in it. Um, I've got some of Trisha's longer pieces uh, back here and like other necklaces that I just are too long for me to put anywhere else. But again, they're daintier pieces. But I love them. And then I've got this piece off the side here. This is another Stella and Dot piece, this white frame. And it's got a canvas backing so that you can physically poke pieces into it. So I've got a couple of uh, long stud like or not stud sorry dangly earrings these were from H&M I believe that I just poked in there I've got a pendant here or sorry a brooch from Banana Republic these two uh, brooches here are from Stella and Dot that can also mimic as like a clasp on the end of a necklace as is this and then this ginormous flower I was inspired by Carrie's Carrie Bradshaw's outfit when she had it in one of the looks in Sex in the City and this was from Holt Renfrew uh, years ago, but I just I stinking love it. But yes guys that Is the accessory closet so you can see it's kind of a Mishmash in terms of how I store my jewelry, but it is what works for me Because as I said, I really recommend having things on display so you can see them and I really recommend having everything in a certain spot Just so you know where to look for your accessories or look for a certain piece if you're in search of it but uh, Yeah this is the accessory closet, guys. So I know it's not necessarily maybe like the prettiest thing out there, but it is incredibly functional and does the trick for me. Now at the off shot that any of you are wondering where these little hooks are from, you can either pick them up in Michaels or in Home Depot. They are $4.80 a piece. They're really inexpensive. This is what the packaging for it looks like. Uh, it comes with three hooks at a time and then the little adhesives. There's no hooks left in this one. I just got adhesives, but... I will show you what it says in case any of you are wanting to pick it up. And uh, yeah, if you like that idea, you can use that as well. But like I said, you don't need to have a huge closet to make your accessories functional and work for you. 
anything to have them on display. So whether you get a jewelry storage unit to hang on the back of the door, if you get a cork board that you can put tax in and then hang the necklaces off of, that's perfect. Anything that will help inspire you or just at least see your pieces when you're getting in the morning would be perfect. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope maybe you got some ideas on how you can store your jewelry just so it's on display, you can see what's going on, you can see what is available to you guys. But anyway, I hope you don't mind the vlog style that I had to do this in in order to show everything to you but that is it I know so many of you asked for this so I hope you uh, enjoyed this accessory tour video and anyway guys I love you so much and I will see you again on Wednesday Mwah. see ya